that you have focused on your strengths. You overcame obstacles, but you, you say the word survive, but you have thrived. You either sink or swim, don't you? There was a group of us at school, and the, the school was a really weird place that we went to, the, the secondary school, because mm. they didn't do what in those days was O-levels. The older members of the audience will remember it was O-levels <coughs> before GCSEs, and they didn't do them. So at 16, we didn't have any qualifications. And if you can't see and you've got no qualifications, you've got a problem. So we went, a group of us went to the evening classes at the local technical college. This was in Shrewsbury in Shropshire. And we gradually built them up. I think if we hadn't passed the first cluster, we did two, two nights a week, one GCSE each night for a year. That's incredible. How, how we passed it, God only knows. Mm. Well, I do know. So much determination. Well, oh, yes. I mean, my mum really was. This was the. <laughs> this is about everybody's mum, and that I suspect <laughs> in the room. I, I got the first results through. She read them out. She said, "Is that a pass?" I said, "Yeah, it's a pass." She said, "Sit down. Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> <laughs> Have a cup of tea. You know. And that all I wanted to do was to jump in the air." Because uh, we'd passed the first one. I'll tell you what else happened as well. I had to get a science. And I, they didn't want me to do chemistry at the college, at the night school, because they thought I was going to blow the place. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't want to do biology, because I thought it meant messing about in entrails. So I did physics. And I knew nothing about physics. And at the end of the year, I wasn't sure I knew anything about physics. <laughs> but there was a guy came down every week with me and he was a teacher from the school that I was at. I was doing commercial subjects. I was learning how to do Braille shorthand and how to type and mm. that kind of thing. And it was his personal commitment, he didn't get paid for this, to come down and help me do the, the science, the physics, and to sit with me in the laboratory that actually made an enormous impression on me. And I think that it's that personal giving to each other that you can't buy that is so vital in seeing people through, isn't it?